Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So now we are going to solve question number 2 of weekly contest 460. Maximum number of subsequences after 1 inserting. Okay, we are able to solve this problem. So let's read the problem statement now. You are given a string S consisting of uppercase English letters. Okay, you are allowed to insert at most one uppercase English letter at any position including the beginning or end of the string. We have to return the maximum number of LCT subsequences that can be formed in the resulting string after at most one insertion. Okay. A subsequence is a non-empty string that can be dragged from another string by deleting some or no characters without changing the order of the remaining characters. Okay. So let's understand this problem statement with an example here. Okay, so here S is equal to LMCT, right? So how many LCTs are there right now? So I see that only one is there, right? L, C and T. Okay, only one is there, right? So now in this, I can add at most one uppercase English letter, okay? At any position, right? Including the beginning or end of the string, okay? And once I add that, then after that, I have to return the maximum number of LS, LCT subsequences that can be formed okay so right now only one okay so now here if i add one l in the beginning okay so here then the total number of lcts that i can form is let's see this is one lct and this is one lct right two okay so we can insert a l at the beginning of the string s to make ln mct which has two subsequences at indices zero three 4 okay and 1 3 and 4 okay done right so output is 2 okay so i hope that you guys are clear what we need to do right what is asked in this problem statement okay so now how we are going to solve this problem let's understand with these steps okay so what i'm going to do so this is my example lmct okay so let me just move to this side of page okay here i have this example right l m c and t okay so here this is index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, okay? So now here, what I'm going to do, first I'm going to process the perfect sums, okay? So I'm going to create arrays, okay? So let's say this is for prefix of L, this is for prefix of M, this is for prefix of uh, LCD we need, right? So this is prefix of L, prefix of C, and prefix of T, okay? We need for L, C, and t only okay done and here uh give we since we need to count the prefix now so here 0 1 2 3 4 okay so i'm giving until 4 okay 0 1 2 3 and 4 also right so in the per 4 i i will check for the previous okay previous elements okay so here again for c also do the same thing 0 1 2 3 okay and 4 all right and here for t also do the same 0 1 2 uh, 3 and here 4 okay so now i'm going to fill this okay so initially all the values are 0 0 0 okay in these boxes here 0 0 0 0 everywhere okay 0 0 everywhere 0, 0 okay right here also 0 0 0 everywhere 0 okay so now i want to fill that's why i'm not writing 0 because i have two days them okay so now here right now i am at this position okay so here l is occurring just one time okay i'm just focusing on l okay character is l okay so here add prefix of one past times how many times i have seen l i have seen zero times and right now there is one l at zero index okay so i'm going to write it one here done okay then i move here right now add prefix of 2 okay prefix of l this 2 okay before that how many times i have seen l uh, just one time and right now character is m not l so here i let it be one only now i reach here okay i want to fill this right i want to fill this okay so my i is here and i want to fill this so prefix of l3 how many times in the past i have seen l one time okay and current character is not l so here it will remain one only okay and here t 
how many times uh, here prefix of L okay at four index how many times I have seen L in the past just one time and this is T okay so no change only one okay so now if you see here one 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 and one okay so I have filled all these values one 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 okay done okay done all right so now here after that uh, let's do same thing for C okay so right now C is not there okay prefix of C okay before this prefix of C at one index before that how many times I have seen C zero and current character is L okay so here zero prefix of two index okay prefix at two index how many times I have seen C in the past zero and current character is not C okay so still zero okay now prefix at three okay of C so at three I have to check this two okay so previous how many times I have seen C zero and right now current character is C so here I am going to write one okay and same way once you reach here add four okay so before four how many times have you seen uh, C one time and here at three we have T not C okay so it will still remain one okay so C zero zero one one okay so with the code you get better idea okay how we are feeling but this is a basic approach okay how we are how we are feeling this okay I will tell you why we need this all right so here for t also if you start prefix of t before this one how many times have you seen t zero and right now you are again here okay start from here so as zero okay so here uh, zero only okay so how i'm feeling this prefix of t at one is equal to prefix of t before i minus one okay here plus if s dot character at i okay not i plus one at i if it is t then add one to it okay so here before that nothing is there before that nothing is there now at four okay prefix of t at four so until three how many times you have seen zero okay before three how many times before four how many times zero okay and right now current character is t so here add one to it zero plus one so you're going to get one okay so here see zero 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 one okay so this is how you need to feel all right so now once this is done okay once you fill out this table now let's see further what you need to do okay so now you have to count the number of lcts okay right now b without deleting anything okay count the existing lct subsequences here this step okay so now here uh you have one l okay one, first you are here so you have just one l okay now you reach here i still you have just one l okay now you reach here okay so at this position you have c okay so at this position you have c how many times you have seen l in the past you have seen l just one time in the past so that simply means that your lc count is one okay you have seen l just one time and now you have c okay so that simply means it forms lc okay you have seen lc one times right done okay then after that you reach here okay so now you want to form lct okay so you have t here so just check now how many times you have lc in the past okay now you are adding t to it so lc is just one time okay right so one that's it okay so count of lc is one so count of lct is also one right that's it okay so this is how you are going to form so right now l okay L one time C okay so you reach here so you see that character is C okay if it is C then check how many times L is there in the past so one time so that simply means L C is one okay now you reach here T so check how many times L C is there so L C is one time so L C T definitely is going to one uh, going to be one time only so count of L C T is equal to one so existing L C T count is one that's it okay so I hope that you guys clear, clear with these two steps all right now this is done okay now here after that we have choices now since we want to form lct okay lct subsequence so definitely i want to insert only these three characters somewhere okay right maybe i can use c or maybe i can use l or maybe i can use t okay these are the choices i have right okay so now here let's first check c okay c in between now so if i am adding c okay if i am adding c anywhere then i have to check before that how many l's are there and after that how many t's are there okay right so here let's suppose you have two l's 
and here you are inserting a C in between okay so now how many total you can form so that's nothing but this L L is how many times 2 and this T how many times okay 2 into 2 you are going to get 4 okay so here you can validate now L C T 1 okay start from same L C and take this T now done okay now start from this L take this C and this T now start from same L take this C and this T okay so 4 so you have to just want to know about the total number of times this L appears before this C okay before this particular index and total number of times T appear after this okay so this is what you need to know right so that is why now this is important okay that uh, all this areas okay prefix prefix some stat with it okay so now here if uh, you insert C at zero index okay so that simply means C here okay uh, that simply means C here then you have L M C T okay like this all right so C here so now before this C um, there are no L's right there are no L's okay so zero and how many T's after that just one okay okay so if you see l before 0 t after 1 okay only one t right so 0 into 1 0 only okay there is no change right so total is still 1 total is still 1 right okay now after that if you try to insert c here okay c here right this position so before that 1 l and before after this see how many t's are there okay how many t's are there uh, okay so here a uh, one so one plus one total two you are going to get okay so new max found with c at one okay that is two now you have to check with c here okay instead of this c here so before that how many l and again how many t so again total is going to remain two only okay you are checking different different possibilities now right so if you place c here then before that how many l and t one only so again two okay now if you place t at four okay t at four right in the end so before that you have l but you don't have t okay so total then will be one okay so among them max is just two right new max found is two only right okay so this is the case for insertion of c right same way we have to check the cases for the insertion of l and t okay so for C we have choices, right? But for L, it's good now if we I just put it in the start beginning only, right? It is the best. Okay, same way for T, it is the best if I just put it in the end. Okay. C is the mid, so I have to check all the scenarios. But for L and T, it's good if I just put L in the beginning and T in the end. Okay. So here we are going to do the try insertion of L at the front, okay? Right? So we have lmct just put l here okay so now if you put l here okay so here l after that we need c and t okay so now here after l c is appearing at this position okay uh, okay so here what we are doing we are doing the trying the insertion of l at the front okay l at the front all right so here let's say lmct l m c t okay so we are going to insert what we are going to insert your l okay in the front so if you insert your l in the front okay so now here if you see uh here uh it is giving index like t is equal to three okay so i think it is given like zero one two three okay so it is in the debug statement i think we are using this okay zero one two three okay so now here i am beginning here l okay beginning my l from here so this is the t okay so i what i need to form i need to form lct okay so before this t i need to check how many total c's are there okay so here add t i is equal to 3 prefix of c is just 1 okay so before this t how many c's are there just 1 okay so just 1 so that simply means l c and t that's it okay so here at t is equal to zero, prefix of c is one so add by add l one okay so total new substitutions by adding such at one 
till one okay same way for t if you if you want to insert t okay t character okay so you want to insert that in end okay so since you want to form lct okay so now you need to check it for the else okay and uh, after this else okay you have to check or you can say you can check for the c okay before that see how many else are there okay so you can try that okay so add c c is equal to add i is equal to so 0 1 2 okay so here see so before this see how many else are there so this is what you can check okay so one so here one okay so existing lct count is one so after that what is the max we are going to get max we are going to get only two only right so final answer i'm just going to give it okay so this is the approach uh, that we need to follow okay so you guys will get better understanding uh, when i'm going to show you the code okay so here this is sum number three all right okay and this is the uh, some bigger example okay so you can wrap these statements okay same thing data expand okay now i'm moving to the code part so here uh this is your string as given to us right so calculate the length okay then you have to calculate the prefix sums of l c and t then uh, you have to check like this okay prefix of l i plus one here that's what i was doing right prefix of l of i what is the count there and if the current character at i okay if it is l then take one otherwise zero. okay if it is c take one if it's t take one okay for this okay so this is how i am going to create the prefix sums array right then i have to count the existing lct so simple loop i'm running okay for l just increment the count c as soon as i encounter c just check how many lcs are there okay and as soon as i encounter t just check the update of the count of count lct okay as the count of lct plus count of lc okay previous lcs so this is your answer okay that you are going to store okay existing lct count done then for c you are going to insert c at all the positions okay so l before so prefix of l of i t after so prefix of t of n minus t of i okay this is a formula that you are going to use okay so you are using these prefix arrays only right and you are going to get the answer okay you have to take the max only so count of l c t existing count l before into t after okay done then insert l at the front okay so by adding l the front so initially zero so you have to check the t okay lct so t is the end now so before this t how many c's are there same way if one more t occurs then before this t how many c's are there okay so you have to just do the addition okay so add by l is equal to add by l plus prefix of c of i all right this is done okay if the current cut is t then before that check the t c's okay same way you are going to update the answer okay you have to take a max same way insert t at the end then count l before each c okay so l c t so you are adding t's now before this c will be there and before c how many l's are there okay so same way here c l's okay so for this c you have to check for this c you have to check and then you have to just add in the this okay then you have to take the max and in the end just return answer okay so that's it so a little bit tricky but these are the debug statements just follow these debug statements and you will be able to understand it okay so i hope that you guys are clear with the question number two of weekly contest 460 and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in the comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing which you in the next video thank you bye bye